Um, yeah, I'm a definitely. I'm 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 hitting up my homie tomorrow. Yeah, I, I gotta go. That's what I'm saying. I gotta go interact. I haven't been watching anything for a while, but I'm not gonna see. The thing for me is Azalea. Keep it a buck. I'm I was deep into. First off, I got addicted to CeeLo. I got addicted to gambling when I was young. Like I really like. I had we had every. It was no such thing as me not playing CeeLo if I, we hanging around, even if it was just two or three people. I'm gonna put get them dice, whether I'm banked or not. And then once I realized that, yo, I'm actually addicted to this thing, I got to stop. The next thing was I started, I took a break, then I got into sports gambling. But sports gambling, while, when that was happening, I'm saying I got into this stuff real young. So as I'm getting in, in the military, behind the scenes, I'm learning about corruption on a different level. And once I got into some type of insight on how sports and the gambling, on behind, that stuff kind of is running and dominating stuff and why we get referees and all you know referees who are um uh, what's the word under the books or under the radar being paid under the books and all that type of stuff it took i like literally stopped watching sports just like that i went cold turkey i stopped betting no the truth is i stopped betting and be, when i stopped betting i couldn't care about sports anymore it was like i don't even know who to root for or what to root for anymore but that's why i stopped watching I, I stopped the last thing I bet on, that's the problem, to be honest. Like, me, that, I mean, I, and I haven't been betting in a long, I haven't bet in years. Like, so I'm, I'm definitely stopped doing that. But that's something I had to realize I had an addiction of. But once I stopped betting, I, my, I used to love, brother, I used to look at sports nonstop, especially boxing. Like, all pay-per-views. The last one that I did, the last, let me tell you how long ago this was. It's not the last pay-per-view I watched, but the last time I bet, I bet on Adrian Broner. We see what Adrian Broner happened last time, but I'm talking about. I put, see. It's bad that I don't remember the name of who he fought. It was. It was. Was it? It was not somebody. It was somebody who was kind of decent too. Like um, I don't. I want to say Canelo, but I feel like that was too big. It was big enough for all that we, me and me and the homies, got together. So it was a big fight. But this, it was basically Adrian Broner's last real big fight, not that last one. But he got beat. It was his first time getting beat that bad. And I took the bet. I had high stakes on it because he was definitely the underdog. But I took that bet going to a bar. That's not a bad idea, too. You know what, brother? That's crazy, too. I never actually did that. That's a fire idea. They, with the atmosphere in there, you just got to get there early for the most part, right? To just make sure so you ain't standing up like by the door or nothing like that. I might do that, too, because I already got to do something on Sunday with the fam. So it's like I don't got to go see everybody back to back. But I we're going to see. But I'm definitely going to – I already put it out of my head when i seen it. Um, you know, and, and I'm, a, I'm a fan of sports. I just um, had to learn how to start just understanding, just focus on that and not worry about no betting. I'm not taking no bets. I don't want any bets. I don't – none of that. Anyway, let's get back to this. That's hilarious. But shout out to Zaza Land. That's, that's the homie right there. Like I said, first person to send me a clip, I was able to break down and – that Zaza Land, if, if you ain't, um, if I ain't get to tell you, that actually helped me break down and understand how to um, present this stuff. This is one of the reasons why I even got on StreamYard to start doing things like this. So let's get back into this clip now, and we're gonna show the downfall of anything. And, and shout outs to everybody, anybody in any street organization, all the homies, every all homegirls, every is all fellowship here, is all love. Um, I still stand and say what I say, but I understand and respect the organization of it. My problem is the wildness and the unorganization of it now at this point. The root of a lot all these organizations came from really supporting and doing things for the community. What it turned into is absolute wickedness. That's what it is. It's it's absolute bastardization of what a gang met represents. That's what I'm saying. Go back and look at them gangs in the 70s and see what they was doing. They was making sure you the you it don't matter what it was. Um, that's yo, you on point, Zaza Land. That's exactly who it was at Mariana, right? Damn, that was crazy. I don't believe I, it was a. I was a sweet Ozzo. Like I said, I had I had double or triple the famous. I think it was double. That was my cousin. He gave me like double the odds. But yeah, I I, I took that L. It was a bad. He he lost so bad. To, <laughs> That's the last time I bet. All right, let's get back to this, though. Shout out, yo, once again, shout out to the homie. He didn't pay like 20 bucks. Right, right. So, yeah, exactly, because they, they definitely got to make some bread on that. Nah, it's cool with that. I like the atmosphere in the bars, too, especially a nice local bar. You ain't got to go travel and do too much. You go get, you know, that that's always a nice vibe, especially for an event like that. I like that. I love the energy like that. 
it's always nine out of ten times, especially where you are, it's nine out of ten times peaceful in those environments. So, all right, let's get back into this now. Let me let me break this down. Oh man, brick baby, brick baby. Brick. Comrade, my comrade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and my comrade, we like fuck it. What you want to do? We got to do some rich nigga shit today. Like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna get the warehouse. Fuck it. Okay. Tell it up. You pull up. You know what I'm saying? He like fuck it. We went out. We got the warehouse. Do you think that will satisfy Dan Homie? I don't give a damn. I feel like she damn. wanted you to like go wherever Cowboy was at. Cowboy's not from the set. I, but you know, she like probably wanted you to go <laughs> around. <laughs> Whoever has issues with you, like I felt like that's what she was getting at. I was. But people, uh, everybody that was around me, what are you talking about? I don't know. Yeah, everybody has a... <laughs> Everybody that was around me, what are you talking about? I don't know. That is so hilarious. That's one of the second signs, I would say. The, least, the first one was the first. The fact that you even mentioned damn homie. But Adam looks like he's setting up an alley-oop to slam dunk and destroy Brick's career. And if anything wants to be added to that theory or narrative that people like to use, it would be WAC 100 to be behind the scenes helping to pull those strings. I understand that WAC, um, that Brick got this situation with his case and Adam. That's something that's very suspicious. We're gonna cover that a little bit in here, but he's bringing, Adam is bringing up damn homie again. Like you think that's gonna satisfy damn homie what you're saying? The stuff about cowboy, you saying that cowboy not from the hood? Like I said, that's their politics or whatever. But it it seems like he's always around, and you're not there. Like I don't, I like I said, don't know the politics, but from what we're seeing from the outside looking in, it doesn't necessarily look that way. Even though cowboy took the stand and all that, but it doesn't seem like whatever. Even if he, I don't think he had he got DP, but even if he did, I he did, and he's he's handled his business or whatever. So that's a weird situation, but. Pay attention to Adam once again. Like, that's what this is all about. And Brick Baby right now is like, yeah, what you talking about? Like, he know is feeling that Adam is pushing him right now. And why he's so interested in this hood day? Why is this even a topic is the real question. The opinion. But listen, all right, so let me show you how this goes, right? I go hit my corners. I don't have to go live. I go through the hills, I check on all my older dudes, my bop, bop, Eileen, all that. Them niggas don't like cameras. I tried to live stream the other day. They my brother like, nigga, I'm about to leave. You about to turn YouTube on? Hmm. I'm like, yeah, that is weird. Huh? I'm about to turn YouTube on. So for the record, it's going to be a little tricky how Brick plays, plays around right here. But Brick is basically going to be going from, he's, he's making statements basically saying that, um, he didn't go to Hood Day and that, well, what about all the other times of Hood Day? So every time he talks about going to Hood Day, he's talking about the past times. So that's very important to pay attention to. But like I said, I don't really care for the politics, but the way he talks and popping and all that stuff, the sick, the things he is saying, he's literally going to be, end up, he's going to get to the point where he's disrespecting everybody he's talking about. And that's where it gets a little crazy too. Interesting stuff throughout this whole, this whole little segment, this clip right here. You know what I'm saying? He like, nigga, he like, fuck these niggas. Like, bro, he, he, you got to understand, I got brothers, cousins, and older homies that don't allow me to express or explain myself about certain situations. Like, we just going to blow it up. When it's time to blow it up, we going to. I got homies and other people around that don't allow me to explain myself. I got homies and other people around, loved ones, brothers, that don't allow me to explain myself. That's so interesting right there. That is so interesting right there. Let me see what you said right here. Gang said broken down into fractions. So many different clicks. And yeah, oh, it's so many. It's the same thing. Exactly. And it's all across the board. East to west, it don't matter. Mid, south, all that. Same exact thing is insane. But um, with that being said, that's think about what we're saying right now. And you're going to hear that. That's crazy you said that, Zaza Land, because in this same thing right here, Brick Baby literally is disrespecting some of the people in who going some of the same 60s that we talking about in this clip. You're going to hear a lot of wild disrespect before we get to there's going to be a bomb that's dropped at the end of this clip that I, I don't understand what's in what's going on in this world. But matter of fact, let's get back into this because we got to get to that. That's one of the heaviest things to talk about. Um, yeah, it definitely got too big. But yeah, let's get into this right here. 
blow it up and everybody gonna remember who. I mean, means. you took the flick. You look, they look about thirty something deep in that. It was thing. like eighty people. Yeah, right? like, people yeah. my I got the only spot that didn't give it. And the cons. No, 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 no. You're not gonna just keep saying that. And shout out. I'm. A, this is one of the definite shout outs. Adam, the twenty two deserves. Not even call you Mojo Adam. I literally. That's why I stopped it right there. In my mind, Adam's gonna say what we're gonna say. What we're gonna talk about right now. My first thing is, wait a minute. It got rated? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> what, how come this is not something that's being spoken about? Who rated, when it rated, how it rated, where it got rated? So the hood, they got rated. And that's what he's about to talk about. And now from here, we're going to get where this bomb is in, in this conversation right here. This is the beginning of what I'm talking about. And a lot of the disrespect in, of this, uh, it's insane. And you can see where the internal, it's all egos. Especially when you got people who pay for play gangsters like this. If you paying one captain or lieutenant, the person who's above that captain or lieutenant, they're gonna want to get paid too. Then if you're paying these two, the person who on top of that, the big dog, they're gonna want to get paid too. If you only paying the big dog, the people who really doing all the man work who's in between you and the big dog, they're gonna gonna want to get paid. That's why people like that who do get stamped and have people around them who pay for play gangsters. They end up having, they stuck up between a rock and a hard place. And you go into an event like here where all these people that you have paid in the past, people that you stopped paying, people that you know you need to pay, people who want to see you for DPs, all those people are there. And then he doesn't, he's not showing up. It's a serious thing. But when he talks about it, got rated, red flag right there. Flag on the field. Let's break this down now. Sir, that we threw after all the hood is still getting rated. Oh, every year. Really? Oh, every year. So, like, 12 homies went to jail last night. I mean, not 12. They found about a gang of blowers. Like, five, six people went to jail last night at the last event. Really? Which... A gang of blowers. Five or six people went to jail at the last event. What is he talking about right there? It, it, that At this point right now... We got to do understand that it's going to be very confusing. There's a lot of chaos. And we said from the beginning, there's a lot of technology. There's a lot of things that's being said that are going to play around. That's why it's important to break these things down now before the conversation just gets changed. Okay, let, let's, let's, let's think about this for a second, guys. This clip was from about two or three days ago, at least, bare minimum. I had the clip when it was just a clip. It wasn't the part of the full video. So that was since Wednesday, I had that clip already and that was when I started making these characters and breaking things down. So um, if 610, y'all, it's not something that I'm high. I was like feeling a little weird about even saying that. But if if that's already a known thing, that that's their specific hood day, okay? Um, shout out to Gang Lane, he said it straight. A lot of people probably don't know, but every organization in the streets has their own day like that. Basically, long story short. Now, let's, well, that's irrelevant, though, for this situation, because the point here now is, hmm, so how did you get that information so fast if you wasn't even there, Brick Baby? We, we, like, seriously, this thing was 610. The clip was in the 13th or the 12th, right? Wait, today is the, yeah, so you had the, Monday, from Monday to whenever this happened, two or three days later, we got to say two days. So in two days, you had the information of how much blows was there, how much people got arrested, the exact, you got these details, how, where, why, and why would people be giving you this if you wasn't even around? How would you know this? Not saying that's impossible um, to, for it to be a non, um, 